First, let's talk about the percent proportion. So basically what it is, is a proportion is a ratio that's equal to another ratio. And a ratio is just a fraction where you're comparing two quantities, or it could be written as a fraction. So what we have here is we have P over 100, and P represents the percent. So percent means per 100, meaning like something divided by 100. So like 40% is actually 40 parts out of 100 parts, right? equals is over of. So you're going to see the words is and of in these uh, problems that we're going to be doing. Is is the part and of is out of, I mean out of the total. Just like 100% is the total, out of, that's the total. So what we're doing is we're comparing the part out of the whole or the total equals the part out of the whole, which is the total. So those two ratios are equal and it makes a proportion and we can solve. So let's get into an example number one here. It says 16 is 40% of what number? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we've got 40%, so that's gonna go in for P here. So we have 40 over 100, okay, 16 is, okay, that's the part of what number, meaning out of what number. We don't know what that is, so we're gonna make that a variable X. Okay, so you're with me so far? So then all we have to do is cross multiply and solve. Now what a lot of students will do, okay, and a lot of teachers will recommend is, if you can reduce these, these fractions first before you do the cross multiplying, that makes the problem a little bit easier. So I'm gonna divide the top and the bottom by 10. When you divide by 10, this is just gonna become four, and this is gonna be 10, which we can reduce further to two fifths. Okay, so now we have two fifths equals 16 over x. I'm gonna cross multiply in the diagonal. So two times x is two x. 5 times 16 is 80, and if we divide both sides by 2, you can see that x equals 40. So that's the answer to this question. 16 is actually 40% of 40. Okay, so are you with me so far? Okay, let's go into example number 2. This one says, what is 30% of 48? Okay, so here we say 30%, that's the P over here, so 30 parts out of 100, all right, equals, now what is... Now here we don't know what the part is, the is. So that's gonna be x of 48, meaning out of 48. Okay, so you see how I did that? Is we don't know, out of 48. And then 30% is 30 parts out of 100. All we have to do is cross multiply and solve. Let's reduce a little bit here first. So if we divide the top and bottom by 10, we can reduce this fraction to 3 tenths. So now when we cross multiply, we get three times 48, which is how much? That's, uh, let's see, that's, uh, 48 times 3, that's 146, right? 144, there we go. And that's uh, 10x, and if we divide both sides by 10, you can see that x equals 14.4. Okay, so then the last example, before I get into that, I just wanted to say, I'm gonna have another video talking about how to work with the percent equation. That's another way to solve these problems. I'm gonna do a separate video with that, I'll have a link for that. And I also wanted to say, if you're enjoying these videos, you know, subscribe to the channel and also check out my Patreon page. I'll have a link for that. Um, if you want to support the making of these videos and it's benefiting you and you want to help other students as well learn, check out my Patreon page. But let's get into the last example here. It says 21 is 15% of what number? Okay, so here we go, 15%, that's 15 parts out of 100. Okay, 21 is, all right, so that's 21, of what number? Again, we don't know, so that's gonna be X. So all we have to do is, again, cross multiply and solve, and you've got it. So one example that I didn't show in here is sometimes you can solve for the percentage. So they'll say what you know percent is this number out of this number, and you would just leave uh, P as your variable, and you could, again, you can cross multiply. As long as you know three of the four quantities here, you just have one unknown, you'll be able to solve. So again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to seeing you in the future videos.